ever wondered what makes your food so bright? What makes your maraschinos so red? Dactylopius caucus is an insect that grows on the prickly pear cactus in South America. The female insects contain carminic acid and when they're ground up and dried, they release that deep red color, carmine. This color can be used for dyes for fabric, food, and even cosmetics. So we're gonna grind some of those up right here. Carminic acid is pH sensitive and will change color with the addition of an acid or a base. So to start, I'm going to add a little bit of distilled water into our ground up cochineal insects. That's the common name for these bugs. Only the females are used in producing dye. There we go. We can see that it produces a dark red color. Today we're gonna to mix our cochineal solution or our carminic acid with a few different substances. We're gonna use some white vinegar. We'll put our ammonia in the second spot. Here we've got some citric acid in solid form. We also are going to mix with some alum powder. Alum is commonly used in pickling. It makes your pickles a little bit more crunchy. We are also going to use cream of tartar. Lime juice, I have a half a lime here, so let's put some lime juice, there we go. Limes, of course, also contain citric acid. And finally, we'll use some baking soda. Okay, for the solids, we're gonna add distilled water again to make those dissolve. Now, before we get to adding our carminic acid and finding out what happens, I'm just gonna do a quick pH test on our different substances so we know what we're working with here. First, our vinegar. It's a pH of about two. So now let's bring our carminic acid back in, remembering that it's that nice deep red color. First, we'll put it into the vinegar and just give that a little bit of a stir. We can see a color change already. That one looks bright orange. Next, we'll add it to our, oh, we'll add it to our ammonia and our ammonia is giving us a whoops, a deep, deep purple. After our ammonia, we had our citric acid, so that's again an acid, and we get a similar color to our vinegar, but not quite the same. Another orange there. Let's just move that one out of the way. Fourth, we had our alum powder, and the alum also was acidic. And that one's giving us more of a red tone than instead of the, uh, the purple of the ammonia. This one was baking soda. Uh, no, this one was not baking soda, sorry. This was cream of tartar. There we go, cream of tartar. And it's a faint orange. Lime juice. Let's see, our lime juice is an orangey red color, and finally was our baking soda here. And our baking soda is giving us those deep purple tones again. So we can see that we're getting a variety of different colors just by changing the pH of the carminic acid in these bugs. And these can be used in fabrics, in food dyes, in all sorts of different materials. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit closer and take a closer look at those colors. So 
Thank you very much for joining me today and watching how chemistry is affecting everything around us. Have a great day.